Right guys, I'm pretty excited today. I've got my mate here, Kylie, in the kitchen. Another ex-master chef. And uh, she's going to show us a really cool way to make something pretty simple but very tasty. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Today we're going to be making Swiss meringues. And for me, they're one of the most versatile meringues. You pretty much can't muck them up at all. I love that. Because <laughs> I muck up meringues all the time and I've never made a Swiss meringue. I go just classic French yep. sugar egg whites and just beat it till hopefully it works. Uh, Kylie is a very, very good sweets cook. She's a great savoury cook as well. So yeah, she can really show us how to do this properly, I guess. So I'm excited to learn. Um, cool. Should we dive in? Yeah, so first thing we're going to do is just pop the egg whites. Yep. So here we've got 300 grams egg whites. Yep. Eight to ten eggs. Nice. And then we've got 600 grams of sugar. Okay, so cool. it's just double the amount nice. of sugar that you're putting to the eggs. Yeah. It's different to your usual meringue. So yes. you wouldn't usually put them both in together and no. then go from that. So we're just going to give it a little mix together. I love this. So there's, there's three main ways of doing meringues. There French, is. Swiss and Italian. That's it. So, so the Italian one's really passionate. The French <laughs> one's a little bit like arrogant because it's the hardest one to do, maybe. And the Swiss one's sort of in the middle. It's easy. Sits on oh, the fence. Yeah, my favourite is the Swiss. Yeah, it's there really you go. is my favourite. The, the fence sitter. Yep, yep. But you, you're, the, you reckon this is the best one to do? For me, I think it's the best. Awesome. It's the most versatile. Love you can it. put heaps of different flavours yep. with it. You can use it for the toppings of pies or cakes. Yeah, nice. Um, it just works for a lot of things. Because you things. cook it so you can almost eat it, not raw, but just like put it on top and then blowtorch. Yeah, of course. Love yep. it. Love it. Okay. Alright, so mix it together. Just mix it together and then yep. we're sticking it over a little bain meringue. This is a bit I find interesting because French meringue you'd never add any heat to no. it. No. It would kill it. Exactly, yeah. I love it. So we're just going to pop it over a little pot of boiling water yep. here. And the idea is to just stir it over the heat yep. um, until it cooks to, it's meant to be around 70 degrees, but yep. it looks like quite runny honey okay. by that sort of consistency. Runny honey, all right. Runny honey. And do you stir it? <laughs> we do, yeah. Okay, so cool. just continually. I'll give this a bit of a stir. Now Kylie, exciting. You've worked at some pretty amazing restaurants since MasterChef. Yes. Kylie, yep. I think, has worked at some of the coolest restaurants of any <laughs> ex-contestants. And you're about to go to a new one. Yes, in yes. In New York. In New York. Oh, about I'm to go so to uh, yeah, Blue Hill Stone Barns in New York. So, so, so it should be a bit of fun. If this girl doesn't know how to make a meringue, no one does. So this is going to be awesome. <laughs> it'll be a bit embarrassing if yeah. I didn't know how to do it. <laughs> so I just keep mixing. Yep. It'll take a little while. It'll probably take about five to ten minutes to cool. come up to the consistency we're looking for. Nice. Uh, and then it's easy as just putting it on the mixer and whisk whisking it until it's nice and glossy. Beautiful. All right, Carly, how's that looking? That's good. That's the yeah. consistency we're looking for. All the sugar's like dissolved runny and it's, honey. yeah, runny honey. Nice. All right, so what's next? Uh, so what we're going to do is put it on the mixer yep. uh, and whisk it until it's uh, cooled down. It's yeah. got nice stiff peaks and glossy as well. Just beat it up. That's it. All right, so if we didn't have a mixer at home, you could definitely do this in a bowl with a hand beaters. You could, yes. Um, you'd probably, I'd recommend doing a smaller amount okay. because you might be there for a little yeah, while yeah. doing it. Yep. Um, and if you put a little tea towel on the bench too, it just makes it a little bit nice. easier for you to, yeah. to whisk it. I'm glad we've got the machine. And how long will this take roughly to... This will take probably about five minutes yeah. to come So it's up. the same as other meringues now, we're not nice and fluffy and um, stiff peaks. Exactly. So you tip it over my head and it won't fall <laughs> Fingers crossed. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so these are looking oh, love great. It. They're so glossy. It is, yeah. This so is... that's from the sugar being cooked out. This is a great recipe. <laughs> I can see how that makes a great pavlova because it's got that sort of almost like marshmallow texture. Yeah, so, yep. Oh, it's, that's yum. It's it's very. I love it. I love I it as it. well. I think it's really easy. Um, so today I'm going to do a few different ones. Yep. I'm going to do some coconut. Going to do something a little bit different using fennel and orange. Nice. Uh, and then uh, mix a little bit of cocoa powder through it and mm -hmm. have a little bit of a Show chocolatey me how to do it. style. Um, I love this, I'm learning, I'm standing here <laughs> learning any delicious things. Uh, so the coconut one, what Good I'm going to do is pop it on the bottom. Yeah. So we'll just put a little bit of coconut on the tray. Ah. And getting just a spoon, we're just going to... This is so cool. ...make a nice ah. little mould and then just pop it straight on top. Wow. Going to be out of a job soon. <laughs> that looks fantastic. It's really like hanging onto all that air, it's yeah. so like... Dense meringue, isn't it? It's love, yeah. Uh, as a little girl, I loved meringues, and mm. I think that's why I've really sort of gone through making the French, the yes. Swiss, and the yeah. Italian. Um, and this is definitely by far my favourite. Okay, this one, what we can do is probably put some fennel seed and the. Can I do that? Yeah, that'd be great. All right, so a just... sprinkle of them. So fennel's got that licorice flavour to it. So I love fennel seeds. Me too. And you said orange as well. Yeah, so it's got that really sort of traditional yeah, combination nice of the. Combo of the orange and the fennel. And what I'm going to do with the cocoa powder is just get another little bowl and I'll take some of the meringue extra out, stir it through and then we can pop it on the tray too. Nice. 
So you could use even instant coffee, yep. coffee grounds. I've used freeze-dried raspberry powder in oh. my meringues before, and that goes really nice. That'd be nice lovely, yeah. yeah. Different nuts, yeah, um, nice. little chocolates and that sort of thing too, you could add into it just to give it that, yeah. that extra special little difference. So I think this one looks great too. Yeah, I love that sort of the ripple. Cool, so we've got our little selection of meringues. They look wicked, Carly. Uh, they look Thanks. Awesome. <laughs> <laughs> um, so what we're going to do is pop them into a cool oven. Yep. So about 50 to 70 degrees. Yep. So they stay nice and white. Mm -hmm. uh, and then we're just going to leave it for about minimum of eight hours or yep. overnight is always best okay. as well. Right, so the only problem with this is, Carly, now I've got to wait eight hours or overnight yes. to eat your meringues. Yeah, it's a little bit of a long okay. wait. <laughs> yes, so... I have prepared some before. I thought so you might have. Good. Good. <laughs> so we've got all the mixtures here, some of the ones that we just did. So the, the chocolate, fennel and orange. And then we've got ones that are like the hundreds and thousands, coconut nuts as well. So just showing all the different types that we can do with this. So good. <laughs> Carly, these look fantastic. I have to have a taste. And I'm going to go for the orange and fennel. I love that combination. Yeah, cool. So, excuse me, I'm getting in. <laughs> Oh, I love it. A little bit gooey in the middle. Yeah, that's the way to have them. Oh, yeah, thanks for coming in. Good luck in America. Thank you. You guys have got to make these at home, they're amazing. <laughs>